What's going on everyone? My name's Tenebris Infinite and today we are going to cover the three brand new experimentals and all of their synergy effects with experimental ammo. The first weapon we're going to talk about today, the Albstudsair. The way the Albstudsair works is the further you shoot, the more powerful the effect is from your ammunition. So with shock ammo, it doesn't entirely have a synergy, at least not officially, but it does seem to do some sort of a synergy with with the Augsted's air, the further you shoot, the more powerful the effect is from your ammunition. And with shock ammo, it winds up doing a bit of an AoE shock burst. So when you shoot it over a hundred meters, you wind up getting quite a large area of effect of shock damage. So now let's try to see how much damage this shockwave is actually doing. And it appears to not do any damage at all. So you really do want to avoid using shock ammunition out of the Algstud's air, just because it doesn't do anything more than your typical shock ammunition but with the added kind of odd mechanics of the Algstead Sayer, so it's not a very good use of your uranium. I swear to God, man, I have been harassed. Freaking harassed by hunters the entire time I've been trying to set up this video here. What the heck, man? But it's also kind of perfect because they've set me up for showing off my next example, which is the medical ammunition actually having a bit of a synergy. So, again, alongside the fact that the further you shoot this ammunition, the more power it does, uh, the higher the medical ammunition will heal you. But also, kind of like with the whole radius thing, uh, it'll also have a larger radius to heal you from. So let's show this off. Try to shoot this thing as straight up into the air as possible. And you can see the area of effect for that is actually quite big. Uh, the amount of healing was a lot less than I expected. Alright, let's try to bean ourselves with this and just... Really get it straight on. Yeah, it's really not too much, eh? So the ALG, you know? Ah. <laughs> the truth is, the ALG is more of a novelty weapon than an efficiency weapon. And you're mostly just going to be using this gun to have a bit of fun. Alright, next up, let's take a look at the shrapnel gun, which is one of the easiest guns to explain for the effects that it has with its experimental ammo. So first off here, looking at explosive ammo, what this does is it doesn't explode on the first shot, but it explodes on all of the shots that come out after it. So you can utilize this to just spray out a bunch of explosions across a bunch of machines and stagger a whole bunch of them. And for the tar ammo, this one is a little bit harder to kind of understand but pretty much from the looks of it, it shoots out just a bunch of incendiary flares afterwards. And again, also gets that tar effect where it slows down machines. In my opinion, the best ammunition to use out of the Experimental Magnus is the tar ammunition. Uh, the slowing effect, plus the fact that you could slow multiple machines if you set up the kind of scatter properly, uh, is a very useful uh, tactic in the middle of combat. And for the last experimental of the day, the Experimental KVM. The, the poor, ill-begotten Experimental KVM. It actually doesn't have any synergy effects between any of its ammunition types. So with the corrosive, all it does is the typical corrosive thing. And with heat ammo, all it does is the typical heat thing. And I think the 89 is a bit of a missed opportunity, so I'm really hoping that in the future we could see some synergies happen. Maybe heat ammo could get to the point of being overheated easier and stay in that zone 
of being overheated also easier. Uh, and then corrosive ammo, maybe the higher you get in the heat, the more the corrosive just spits everywhere. Uh, I've, I feel like those two would be the really simple synergies. Uh, and I say simple with air quotes because I don't know how simple it would be on the developer side. So there we go, my dudes. Hopefully this video can help you guys in deciding what ammunition you want to use in your brand new experimental weapons. In the Magnus, I would advise the tar ammo uh, from the Alex Stitzer. I would advise soft point or full metal jacket. And uh, for the KVM-89, I would advise full metal jacket just because it burns through ammo. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, we'll be doing some deep dives on the uh, experimental ALG as well as the experimental Magnus in the future. But for now, thank you very much for watching and I will catch you all in the next one. Until then, peace.